All right, y'all, we're back, and I wanted to share this video with you. Now, this is coming from Australia, and I know that some of my Australian friends dislike my imitation of the Australian accent, so I will refrain myself. Uh, the reason I think it's important, one, to get a barometer of what is coming to America, we can see what they're already test marketing in Australia. Uh, unfortunately for our Australian friends, they're a little bit further down the New World Order Road than we are. Mm. But this is a video about them feeding kids in government propaganda camps bugs. So this is how you indoctrinate the next generation is you actually feed them bugs. I know this sounds like a dystopian bad dream, but it is happening now in Australia. It's coming soon to a government school near you. Yeah, go check out our merch page at thetexasboys.com. You will see our new t-shirt design. It says, you will own nothing. You will eat the bugs and you will be happy. You'll understand more why we made that t-shirt design when you watch this video. So let's get going. All righty. Talked here, and this is a, the, you know, we could spend hours talking about this, but this mad, insane, great reset, World Economic Forum idea of eating bugs and insects. We've talked about it before. It sounds like some Yummy. dystopian fantasy novel, but it is happening. And the reasons are, well, they're complex, but they're all, all to do with uh, trying to uh, wean people off meat uh, we've seen in Holland the uh, attack on farmers and so on. That's a bigger subject. But what we've seen, James, is a thousand Australian schools now being fed insects the other day. Have a look. So we've got a grab, which we'll show you in a sec, hopefully, which was some kids being fed chips made out of crushed uh, uh, crickets. Oh, yum. Very nice. And then being, uh, like good. kids, they think it's all a joke Maybe and some fun. Maybe some salt and vinegar with but that. Yeah. Thing. But, you know, but if you can is... make people eat bugs, you can make them do anything. You give them bowls full of bugs, yep. and they, they, they'll, they'll submit so to it. So the kids well, eat these chips, so. and they're in a, apparently a thousand schools in Australia. Yeah, now and they're giving the kids away. And what this is, this is all about the left strategy, which is get the kids. Yep. Get the kids and change the culture. This is what they're doing. So in the schools, they're teaching them what the adult lefties believe, which is that meat is reactionary, meat is killing the planet. And as with everything else, it's all part of what the British philosopher Roger Scruton called the culture of repudiation. So mm. everything that we do and enjoy that is a traditional pleasure, and you see this with everything yep. else, becomes the new smoking. So meat eating is the new smoking. Driving your car and enjoying that is the new smoking. Using a gas stove is the new smoking. Every single thing becomes, you know, this reactionary thing that has to be destroyed in the name of this revolution, which, of course, leaves you no place to hide, leaves your kids no place to hide, not even the lunchbox. Well, apparently the company is called Circle Harvest, and I think it was in the telly and this, had this story that a thousand Australian schools are selling these cricket chips, so parents and grandparents should find out if their kids are eating this stuff. They are laced with cricket protein, and they are told by teachers that they are a healthier alternative oh, to save the planet. Yeah, I nonsense. mean, the, the fact that these products are available is one thing, you know. It's not like an, the children are being force-fed the, the, these products, but... They're being propagandised. They are being force-fed the propaganda. So yep. when you provide the product and in class... Class after class, whether it's maths, whether it's history, whether it's science, it's just this endless indoctrination about catastrophic climate change, what you can do, what we've all got to do, how guilty we are, then it really is providing the kids with and very this, little choice. And this is, you know, one of the things that Julia Gillard built into the national curriculum, which the coalition never unwound. Uh, oh, uh, there's a surprise. Were... Oh, hey, you knocked me over with a cricket. I know, right? you know, with, I mean, seriously. With, with the cross-curricular priorities, which are, you know, about Indigenous. environmentalism, yep. um, Asian culture... And, uh, and Indigenous affairs. So basically teaching kids, you know, your culture, your country is illegitimate. Your culture's, uh, you're European. This is classic postmodernism. This is what uh, Yuri Bezmenov uh, warned us about, that the communists were infiltrating and uh, implementing the 13 planks of the Communist Manifesto 
and you know destroying the culture, destroying the nuclear family. But uh, th this kind of propaganda that these poor, um, subservient mm. children are being subjugated to in the Australian government propaganda camps, it's the same exact scenario. It's the same exact formula as children here are being force-fed, pun intended, <laughs> bugs. Literally. And somehow eating a bug is going to save the planet. If you eat bugs, like you gotta have a serious, numerous amounts of rocks in your head Literally. to think that eating a bug. Now look, if you were some special ops trained guy to sleep yeah. on a uh, blanket of grass, and you needed to survive by foraging uh, for crickets. Yeah. That's one thing. Yeah, survival. <laughs> <laughs> to survive, but they're l telling these oh. kids that if they eat bugs, somehow that is gonna save the planet. So that people might be wondering, like, why do they want us to eat bugs? Well, it's because of the methane, it's because of the cow farts, it's because of there's too many people on the planet, and Which not only are the people destroying the planet, but the animals that are actually <laughs> responsible for helping to uh, keep the planet in but equilibrium. bugs don't kill the planet. But no, bugs are great. Because they emit no CO2 right, or anything. Right, right. Yeah, not that we know of yet, but then once we start mass farming bugs, then yeah. we're going to learn that bugs are create a yeah. terrible impact on the planet. And then we'll have to, you know, that's when we go. 100% synthetic meat. Yeah, we'll go to the street, <laughs> the uh, government goo. It'll be government soup. It'll be like, and it'll probably be neon yellow and glow in the dark. And it'll, it'll smell like um, dirty underwear or something like that. If I had to, <laughs> if I had to guess now, I'm just, I, I'm just guessing because yeah. I read a couple of these dystopian futuristic novels, but uh, <laughs> let's continue. Your European heritage is not you know, legitimate, and of course, you're killing the planet. So that comes through in every single lesson. But I, 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 lesson I repeat is. what I say every time, this is child abuse. This mm -hmm. is our education system, the governments of this country abusing your children and grandchildren. And they're doing it in the name of left-wing ideology and propaganda. As Rita says, they are force-feeding this propaganda at every single level. They are abusing young, vulnerable, impression my impression. Every time a right-winger says, well, we know that the climate is changing and we know that it's getting hotter. Every th you, you can't blame this on the lefties. Mm -hmm. Every time anyone mimics the or parrots the paradigm of the greenhouse gases and all this stuff. You can't blame the lefties for this. If you if you have played into this charade at all, everyone that mimics these talking points is responsible. My impressionable minds first by terrifying them that the planet's about to be destroyed in some weird apocalypse which is complete nonsense according to the data and the scientific facts. Once ter terrorizing them, they then force them this sort of stuff. Oh, here's how you save your planet. Eat these revolting uh, chips or whatever. Well, and we've heard from child psychologists, we've had Dr Claire Rowe on this program saying that kids in Australia living in a peaceful, prosperous nation, the most privileged, lucky generation people anywhere in yep. the world ever, have got these high levels of anxiety. They are suffering mental distress because of this nonsense. And that physical being distress because if you don't eat meat, that's a whole other argument, but nutritionally, meat is critical. And uh, this push towards veganism, vegetarianism, to save the planet is so cruel to children. Yeah. Adelaide, what do you think of the chips? That they're yum. They're yum? Chips are great, aren't they? And these, these chips are even better because they think they're better for you. Did you know that? Mm. Yeah, that way, you know, mum and dad might let you have more chips. Good stuff. Do you like them, Annabelle? Do you like them? Yeah, they're great. <laughs> what do you like most about them? Did you know they're made from little insects? No. No, but can you taste it? No, you can't. It tastes like normal CCs, doesn't it? Okay, <laughs> what did you say, Adelaide? I can taste the crickets. You can taste the crickets. This one has lots of the crickets color. taste good? 
Yeah, let's eat some more crickets. That's what the, the C stands for in the in the chips, crickets. Good stuff, guys. What? I wonder if that's real, dude. That the, almost looks that almost looks like yeah. like a goof. Almost. That's what the C stands for for crickets is crickets. It says crickets right was, was that even mean? Well, yeah, it's very sad seeing the poor kids sitting there and eating crickets, and I don't know if they have a full grasp of the situation and the, the big picture of what they are actually participating in with eating cricket chips, and it's very, very sad. So we just wanted to bring this to y'all's attention because if they're doing it over in Australia, they're 100% thinking about it doing it here so we have to get ready for this. And that's one reason to take your kids out of the public school because I can promise you that they are going to start rolling this stuff into our schools very soon because of all the garbage they've been able to do in the public schools already. And, and, and feeding, feeding children bugs is actually kind of tame compared to most mm, of the things exactly. they're programming yeah. our kids with in government yeah. propaganda camps right now. Yeah, it's just a, it's a pretty crazy world that we live in, the old bug and cricket world. We just need to keep eating our meat, raising our own vegetables, and keep on homesteading as much as possible and support our local farmers. So with all that said, y'all, I hope that y'all will have a very great rest of your day. I'm getting very sleepy and can't keep track of my thoughts. So we will catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye. See y'all.